what's going on people of Cherokee County across the state of Alabama and the world Big Matt Diamond Dean is in the house how y'all doing guys we're glad y'all took a time out of your Halloween uh, we're sitting here snacking on a little candy corn here it's good stuff man I can't help it Mike Leach is crazy grow's good he's insane if you don't like candy corn I agreed with him a little bit, but now I'm just changing my mind. Yeah. It's good I mean, you can't go wrong. Right. Well, guys, tonight uh, we got plenty plenty to talk about. Um, we're going to do, uh, of course, all some local scores and stuff from around the area. And of course, we got our scores going across the bottom of the screen of our local teams. Right. And uh, college stuff. We got a few college games we're going to highlight. And I do have something for Dean that he don't even know about. Oh, yeah. Who's the scariest player being it's Halloween? Um, I, I got something I'm thinking. The scariest player in the SEC right now. Stay tuned for that. After, after we go through high school, Dean, you may be surprised, guys. Y'all may want to hang around for this, even you high school people. So, uh, anyway, we'd like to thank everybody, and we appreciate all our sponsors for yes, hanging sir. in there with us. And uh, It's another day that God has given us, Dean, and we're here. Did you have a good one? Yeah, just normal Sunday. What about you? Pretty good. I ain't felt real good, but ain't. It's not nothing, COVID. That's it. Nothing major. That's it. <laughs> Mark yeah, Bailey, good COVID. to see you there, buddy. Shut it down. It's COVID. You know Mark Bailey? I do. He's watching. How you doing, Mark? Yeah, just kidding, guys. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, well, this week, uh, why don't we just start out with uh, Spring Garden had to go travel, Dean. Yeah, yeah. That'd go be on the road to Wadley. Wadley. Uh, now, they are undefeated in the 1A Region 5. I'm pretty sure they're, let's put it that's right, Region 5. Uh, they, we have been down there ourselves. We've traveled down there a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah, that was a great game, wasn't it? Very tough team. Uh, they always run the ball well, usually big up front. Spring Garden goes on the road down there, and they pull out one 21-19. Uh, to 19. Now, I was checking in out on the score. It was They were down 6 to nothing. It seemed like the whole first quarter. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, Coach Howard and them come out with a victory. Their first undefeated regular season there for him. Right. 10-0. I keep thinking they went 10-0 last year. They did not. Did they? Right. Coach Buck, they, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, they've lost five games in three years. Yeah, that's what I, me and Matt were talking about earlier. Five games in three years and four of them could have gone either way. Yeah. Uh, and the only, for Marty. Yeah, and the team that – the only real loss was to the team that won state. Right. right. Handedly won the state for 2A. Yes. That I, that I must say. I mean, you know, you got, I mean, this year, which they ended up winning by forfeit, but, uh, I mean, when they're on the three yard line at the end of the Cleveland well, game. Well, they're going to, they're going to wind up. I mean, the Federal Bluff game, Federal Bluff score with what, 10 seconds yeah, left? Yeah, at the end of the game. Um, I, I could see Spring Garden, and we do have another playoff bracket for 3A. We'll look at, and if y'all want to go back through the 1 2, we will. We'll look at those again. What happened over then there at Wadley, Dean? Well, at 21-19, it was Andrew Floyd's show. Now, listen at these stats, y'all. Matt, listen at this. He had 149 yards rushing. That's pretty good. All three touchdowns and 14 hits. 14 tackles. Wow. 14 tackles. Good job. Yeah, that's that's great. I'm that's proud of him. Because, you know, he kind of had to wait. He started on defense. He was always a running back. But, you know, you have Weston and Luke. Yeah. And, uh. I think he's done the most with his opportunity, wouldn't you think? Absolutely. I mean, he's getting close to a thousand yards. He makes a ton of tackles. He had a good game. He had a good game last week. Uh, yeah, he gets the, uh, when he went to Sand Rock, played that game. Oh, did I he had some good number? pictures of him, and mm-hmm. he was juking and jiving and ducking and dodging. Uh, Cooper well, was our player of the week that week. Right. Uh, um, it was one of those coin flips. I mean, it's absolutely, you just, you know. And, well, and of course, Cooper, again, caught. Three passes for 74 yards. Yeah. He's a county leader in uh, receiving. And uh, Pope had 128 yards of offense. That's wow. passing and rest. That's pretty good. It is. Tenth grader. Yeah. So. No. That, the, uh, Wadley must be, I mean, I'll, Wadley must be pretty tough because Spring Garden game right at 300. And they usually gain more than that. Yeah. The only times they have it this year. <laughs> Or game just right at three hundred was Cleveland and Watley, two teams that are what nineteen and one combined. That are both well really, eighteen and two, really undefeated, really on the field. Yeah, yeah, except for yeah, right. I that's mean, so the that's, only two guy, games that they didn't just blow it out of the water yeah. as far as yard, and they did still three hundred yards is great. Yeah, they really put it together. That was year. their lowest game. 
Um, Gillesville 52, Alabama School of Death 16. Looks like they went over there. Uh, yeah. School of Death come down, traveled down there to Coach Knapp, Coach Head and the guys, Dax and them. And uh, I think Reynolds had uh, right at 250 or so rushing. Yeah, over 200. Went over 1,000 for the year. Keevlin. Went over a thousand for the year. So, uh, Jacob Gordon, he didn't get he didn't get to play every game. Mm-hmm. So he had, uh, I mean, he's seven eight hundred. Yeah, if he'd have played every game, I'm sure he'd have been in a thousand. I think what the stats were were uh, close to four hundred rushing for Gillsville. Okay, pretty much just dominated, which we thought they would. Yeah, Gillsville's had a good year. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're going to go playoffs. They wound up finishing fourth in that region seven with Cedar Bluff winning that region. Uh, now they're going to have to travel too widely the team that Spring Garden just played. So they're hoping that Spring Garden roughed them up a little bit. Yeah. And they probably did. Yeah. Sounds they like probably it. probably did. I mean, that's their best bet. I mean, you know, and I, I mean, Coach Knapp's not, he's not out of his mind. He knows that's a tough, he knows that's a tough one. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's one of the best teams in the state. Yeah. And I expect him, you know, barring upset to go deep. Yeah. I think everybody has all year. Uh, Wadley? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, them and Spring Garden, those, those two teams are probably going to make a good run in a, you know, mm-hmm. we don't know what, it's good teams. Those, those are two good teams battling each other. Definitely. Now, just mentioned Cedar Bluff. They had wound up finishing the region. Well, there's a game that's played. Sometimes it's over on the mountain. Last year, it was another fire on the mountain. Finished yeah, in the last yeah. second of the game. Cedar Bluff just upset some over there and yeah, this year they come over here point, right? and uh, they just took care of business they, they got plenty of the revenge factor uh, kind of get some of their they look you know, pretty good man. got their moxie back about them Coach yeah. Heath has hit the ground running full steam now he's doing a great job over there Coach Bates and them 47 to 13 um, I was there on the sideline the first quarter and a half or the first half sort of instead of left it was a good game. Very good, yes. Um, battle back and forth. They just kind of punt back and forth each other. Uh, hung on to it. Um, let's see. They wound up with, let's see here. Burleson had four uh, passes for 62 yards. He did throw two picks. Uh, Bucky had 53 rushing. Jacob had 37 rushing. So uh, Jacob's going to have about 100 total yards combined for the night. Preston did have 15. Hey, McFry come on, had a big catch down there, that one he down did. the sideline. Yeah, that was a long one in the rain, too. 47 yards. Okay. And then... Uh, that was a big play. Cade had a 12-yard catch. Preston had one also. Um, now, hey, good. Pay attention to him. He's the one, if you're, he had if, a good game. If you're checking the pictures out online, he's the one that's got the big wrap on his hand. He'd had thumb surgery back a few weeks ago. Hope he's healing uh, properly. And maybe he can take that darn thing off, man. Yeah, uh, he, uh, he rushed about right at 100 yards, right had 100, three right. touchdowns. Yes, he looked very good. Ace threw for 147, two touchdowns, and he also ran for 77. Uh, Cornejo at 65 with 11 carries and a touchdown for his own. And our my Swiss Army Knife guy that I call Crider. Crider uh, had a big 60-yard run on a jet sweep early in the game. He had three, said three catches for 60 and uh, receiving – he had three runs for 60, and then uh, OP, uh, I mean, we just can't go without talking about him. He had a good game. It seems like every game that when we do this for them, uh, he has over 100 yards. 101, 102, 105. Right. He had 110, a touchdown, and uh, two interceptions. Two interceptions. Two or three tackles. One of them back 90 yards. Two or three, um, two or three uh, tackles also. And one run another one back 60. Now yeah. Preston Burt. Ended up tackling them on the one. It would have been a 90-yard, I think it was 89 yards. Yeah. 90-yard, and I think they called hold. But still, that's pretty impressive. It Two was. returns for 150 yards and 110 yards receiving. Yeah. And how many tackles did he make? He made several. Two two or three. He had on here for two or three. I saw him in on some tackles. Uh, it was impressive. See. Looks like uh, 147 to 62 passing, uh, 2-0 and versus 0-3. Uh, for touchdowns to interception ratio. Mm-hmm. Steve Bluff had four turnovers. That sure didn't help him in the battle no, trying to no. hang with this very qualified 2A football team. It's going to be a great 2A football team next oh year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my 19 first downs to eight of Cedar Bluff's first downs. I'd say that had a lot to do with it. Uh, the Haygood family said they're ready for that cast to come on. I bet they are, yes. Yeah, uh, Marcus had to wear one, guys, for his thumb also. 
and he'd have to put that knee pad on there and wrap it up. And it was his left hand. He was a center, so you snap and we. It was very aggravating. It so didn't uh, just, seem to hurt him too much. Though. No, I mean he makes a lot of tackles. Of course, Corneo does. Yeah, and uh, Op uh, those four, which they're not the only four on the team. Crider, well, I mean those guys play both ways. Um, Graham. Said so Bluff had run 42 plays, Dean, and Sun Rock had 48. So plays were kind of comparable. Not a lot of plays. Really. Offensive plays, uh, yards, 143 to 168. Uh, Cedar Bluff uh, rush attempts, 32 rush attempts for 306 on the ground for, for Sand Rock. Mm. 26 rushes on the ground for the Tigers for 106. Uh, so that was just kind of the difference in the game. And uh, good luck to both teams as they're going to uh, travel on and uh, Sand Rock will be traveling to Mars Hill Bible. We just spoke about them. They battled up with uh, Spring Garden last year. That was a – it's a long ride. It's a tough game. And, uh, Where is that? Coleman? Mars Hill. Yeah. It's up, yes, northwest corner of the state. Um, and Cedar Bluff will be hosting Woodland. Right. Uh, they're 3-3, three and three, I think, over there in the region. The region – 3-3 in the region. We yeah. found out it's not terrible because no. Wadley's really good. So. Wadley, Winterboro. Cedar Bluff guys, um, be careful. Yeah, 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 they don't have a great record, but I don't think you can really go by that. They better be careful. I saw where Wadley beat them twenty nine to nothing, but Wadley's hammered people all year, uh, you know. And uh, and uh, well, they will play hard too. Turkey County, they win by one, guys. They hung on. They beat by by one to nothing. That they're tough. They give everybody run for their money. I mean, I mean, they played five for close one one a few weeks ago. They yeah. had they had they had his brother, the sister team, Idle. 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 Yeah. Idle. So Idle's tough. But they beat him one to nothing. They never team. win one though. Neither one. Mm. Neither one I've ever win one. Idle and by. Mm. Now there's an Idler. Yeah, they're We're also playing about good. Idle. And speaking of that, hello Tyler. I'm sure he's <laughs> I'm sure he's watching. I went speaking of five, forty five seven of Yeah, Scottsburg. Scottsburg that was not a, to get too deep into that. A little surprising. Uh Scottsburg six A. A little surprised. I shouldn't be. It is five, and I think Scottsboro is a little bit down. Two and four. They were two, two and four, or two and five, or something on the year. But still, the number of kids you, you would figure that would outweigh some of the. Look, they lost the game. They're back on track. The big red machine is rolling, and I do have that bracket, and, and I'm going to be glad to break it down for you uh, in just a little bit, and we'll be glad to show you. And How I did that's going find out that five rushed out. for 260 yards the night they got beat. Not they lost Geraldine? And I had right at 300. They just turned the ball over a few yeah. times. That's that's what cost them to go. So, Penalties. Anderson, the young Anderson, yes. obviously. Peyton's gone. Yep, his uh, little brother. He's, he's doing very well. Sure. And you can't – I'm going to try to – Bo, if you're watching, see if you can get us some stats on him. I want to see five stats all the time, and you can never find them. Really? He doesn't – they don't post it. I mean, he doesn't do a lot with it. I don't know. You know, I, we know Benefield and how he coaches. He's probably not real worried about it. We were watching one special with him, and he didn't realize that they'd rushed for 400 yards that night. you remember? Yeah. And I don't think he's real in the numbers. These, but, they have a guy there that does them that keeps them for their books. You know, right. So, and I could, Bo, if he's watching, he can. I've got some from well, him. I mean, before. I'm sure they rush for 250, 300 a game. They have for the last eight years. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's going to be interesting match up with. Um, you know, Sachs and Geraldine. Oh, uh, Geraldine's going to be at Ohachi, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, game. too. Yeah, I, I'm going to be. that might be the game of the week. Interested in that pretty much. Sylvania early. and Piedmont, too. Yeah. Piedmont. So some, Sylvania's had a good year. Some good matchups. So. Yeah. But Piedmont's had a good year, too. And yeah, they nearly beat Alexandria, did. you know. Yeah, it was close. And I did watch it. Uh, I watched it on the. Mm-hmm. On the TV, it's just too rainy and cold for me. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, I don't think nobody really wanted to get out. I, I couldn't do it because I'd done been out the night before in the rain. Yeah. That's that Cedar Bluff and Sand Rock. Uh, I just couldn't do it. So, uh, we're gonna do player of the week. Yes, and we'll sir. We'll get to some other scores. Yes, uh, we'll get to other high school scores. Yeah, go ahead. And we'll do it. We'll give tell who our player of the week is. I'm sure you know. I didn't, they're chomping at the bits, man. I did. You got some more high school scores. Yeah, we'll do them after this. Oh, okay. We're talking about the player of the week. Yeah, yeah. man. All right. Well, so what we mentioned think? Michael Reynolds, yeah. who had a great game over 200 yards, went over 1,000. Floyd. Floyd, uh, 150 yards, 14 tackles. Yeah. But uh, And then maybe it's because we start with our own eyes, and you had to be there maybe to appreciate it more. The flash factor. But I guess that's the real word. Olin Pruitt. Yeah. Uh, Congratulations, Olin. I mean, one of his interceptions, it was a good throw. Yeah. 
He just, and he, he just picked it up. He just had and he it, ran it back ninety yards. He had it. He had it pegged. Uh, and, uh, 110 yards and two picks, which, as a matter of fact, he may, him and Gresham from center and Jacob might all be tied in interceptions now. Uh, <laughs> I six, wonder what his yearly – didn't we do it? Didn't we add up his total for the year, OPs? On um, yards. Him yeah. and Austin's right there. They're the top receivers in the game. Yeah, didn't we add them up one time? Uh, right, well, I know we did rushing yards. But then we, we did rushing yards for quarterback. And we did Ace's throwing yards. He was right yeah, at – Right at about 15. Yeah. 14, 15. That's some good stats. I think Corneo's got close to nine. Yeah. So I guess that uh, Michael or Keelan, well, I don't know how many yards Damian Ramsey has. He's over a thousand. He's got to be. Might be the top three rushers in the county. You know, Floyd's getting on up there now. Mm -hmm. I think he was at seven, over 700. So yeah. 150 yards. He'll, he'll end up going over a thousand more than likely. Oh, yeah. Once they get in the play, because they're going to have to lean on everybody. And I did talk to Coach Beckett the other day, and Jacob. Close to 1,700 yards total offense in the regular season. Yeah. Well, congratulations, OP. I've known the young man for a long, long time. Uh, coached him in, in football when he was young, and uh, he's a he's a go getter, and he has a spirit of fire about him. Uh, he he's a uh, coach. He said that he's really become into his own this year, mm -hmm. uh, and being. Uh, a, a more bigger part of the team right. and he's a senior and he's seeing his leadership qualities and, and he really let him shine another night. So yeah, yeah, he looked good. Congratulations, good. OP, on uh, Big Diamond Player of the Week. I'll try to get out there one day and get you a food card and go get you something to eat and stuff and uh, and uh, we appreciate everybody, again, our sponsors that help us do that, Dean. Without them, we, we couldn't do it. So that's 10 different guys. It's got yeah, that's the end of our Players guys. of the Week and we'll start up again next year. Yeah. Of course, here in a couple of weeks, we'll do our end of the done, year. We'll have a player of the year. We'll pick from our. It's not gonna be easy this year. Pot to pick <laughs> one of this out of all these that we've had this year, and it may be somebody that didn't even win that. I mean, it could be. Man, it's yeah, that's gonna be difficult. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good players. Yeah, a lot of good, but you know, you got to kind of take the whole body of work when you're picking the player of the year. Who went the farthest? Who had the most yards? I mean, who was it? It was Luke Welsh last year. Right? Yeah, gosh. He could have won it nearly every week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, he probably could have. It wasn't as hard last well, year. Well, Damien, we considered him. I think he was pretty yes, considered. Yes, yeah. Uh, well, you know, the thing is. Because he had twelve or 1,300 last year. Yeah. Uh, you know, you're just going to. It's harder this year because, you know, we had two weeks in a row where we was batting a thousand. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the county everybody won, winning. and now everybody in the county is going to playoffs. Yeah. Uh, and Sand Rock and Spring Garden and Cedar Bluff and Gillsville are in their two pairs, and and uh, centers in there was with four A. Right. So, yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna and y'all, you know, y'all are smart. Whoever probably has the best playoff run usually. Not necessarily will have that player. Yeah. But, you know, could. His stats are just going to be great because be. he's playing more right. games. Right. Say, like Luke ended up with 1,000 yards and over 100 tackles last year. No, I know. So you don't keep that. You don't keep somebody with those numbers. That's true. From player of the year. Um, well, so we're great watching us. How you doing, Shorty? Again, congratulations to OP. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see here. Seven A, just a few scores because it's kind of winding down. Your regular okay. season playoffs is gets kicked off. Central Phoenix City fifty five to seven over Oxford. And Oxford have been playing a lot better. I did hear a rumor about Oxford that a lot of their starters were ninth graders. Yes, that I've heard that. Wow. Too. A coach doing a good job. He, he got is doing a good coach job. Coach of the year. Somebody awarded him that. I seen him talking uh, about Oxford. something. Yeah. Yeah, they were not supposed to do as well as they've done. IMG uh, Auburn hangs on, plays a close one. Liam twenty seven seventeen. Wow. Prattville forty three to three over Bob Jones. Six uh, A few scores. A Rab forty five to fourteen over Boaz. Man, they had a good year. They have great year. Clay, uh, Clay Chalkwell beats Oakman forty eight to nothing. And this and this here now. Leah Montgomery. Uh huh. 14, Pinson Valley 15. Ooh, wow. Good That's game. a close one there. Uh, 5A, Alexandria over Piedmont. We just talked about that 25 about to 20. 20. Yeah. Uh, it was a good game. I think Alexandria had three or four touchdowns called back off really? holdings or 
something. Yeah, their or, fans weren't real happy. Yeah, they were. They, I seen the video. They were booing yeah. the refs, and yeah. it, I don't. Well, we we have no idea why. No, and you I can't would, tell on the FNN. No, I can't tell. I'm just watching. Uh, it just, you just. It's not like I don't know what people. It's not like watching a ball game. Well, they don't. The camera don't move. It picks right. up movement. And you'll see like the player run by, and he goes That's out. Good. Of, we appreciate. It. He it's goes great. out of the camera. And then the camera goes, like, after they're getting ready to feel out. They don't focus on the crowd no. or anything no. like that. Uh, 4A, congratulations to Asheville, 33-6 to six over Weaver. Uh, they're improving every day. Uh, Cleveland County, 55-6 to six over Randolph County. Right. Etowah wins the big battle up there, 27-14. to 14. St. James beats Trinity Presbyterian. Say that really fast, five times, 42-35, to 35, Dean. Maybe baby White Plains over Pleasant Valley. They're at 27 to 6. Uh, 3A. These are kind of interesting. I want to throw these scores in there. Bayside Academy, 35 to Elba's 27. Flomington. We do know who these yeah, Flomington yeah, teams are. 42 to nothing over Escambia County. And 5 over Scottsboro. We just talked about 45 to 7. Also continuing on in 3A, Dean. The 100th game between the Battle of Scarum Creek. Oh, Geraldine and Crossville. That's correct. Um, actually, a Coker guy lived up there. He went to school at Crossville or something. Scarum and Creek. And, and uh, they wound up naming this after him. I think this year is the first year they actually bought a trophy. So, uh, congratulations to Geraldine. Uh, 53 to nothing, I, th- I think. Do they, I think they hold the... The series, the lead I, in the series. I, I, here lately, they do. Now, I lately. don't know about before. All, of all time, I don't think they do. But no, as of the no, last 10 you know, years Crawford or so. was great in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, Hoax Bluff. And in the 90s, too. Big Sexy holds on uh, Sardis 42-12. to 12. Big Sexy. Oakman over Cordova 26-12. to 12. Plainview Bears 49-13 over Glencoe. Ohatchee beats Munford 47-20. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Real Town forty to twenty over Holtville. Now two A Aliceville team that we kind of see in the playoffs year in year out thirty eight to eight over Linden, Cleveland beat Susan Moore forty two to nineteen. Cleveland's got a really good football. Susan team. Moore. Uh, they're bigger, aren't they? They're, or are they? I thought they were five or six A. I I don't know, guys. Y'all know what name it you're watching? I know they were three, and they've been four, maybe. I think they're bigger than Cleveland. I thought they played with Leeds. Maybe years ago, uh, when they were know. five together years ago. I just know their quarterback went and played at Mississippi State. If you and then that. Leeds moved up to six, and they stayed. For, I don't know. Uh, Laverne forty-one over Georgiana seven. Southeastern thirty-eight to seven over Appalachian. Two uh, A team that we all know and heard a lot of name of Tanner. Two uh, yeah. A Tanner beats Waterloo forty-two to sixteen. Westbrook Christian takes on Donahoe. Dean uh, turned out to be a really a little closer than what some thought. Maybe thirty-seven to twenty-six. Whitesburg Christian gets a win over uh, Coosa Christian. Coach O'Brien and the guys are uh, getting finished up over there, and they're going to get ready for next year. He's got a super great young class. Got more move-ins coming. Uh, he's doing a good job over there. Where's that? Uh, Coosa Christian. Oh, yes, I can't, yes, gosh. I can't wait to see uh, how it's all going to turn out yeah, down there for sorry, them. I got a text from somebody about uh, Brantley, 29-15. to 15. Lynn, 41-0 to zero over Turkey. Ragland forty four to six over Asbury Valley Head twenty seven to fourteen over Collinsville. Collinsville's breathing a little bit. Lost a huge class last year. A lot of players. Yes, yeah, they lost. Was that last year when they yeah. lost Caleb Jones and all them? Two, that, two years yeah. ago. Or, two years. Ago. Yeah. Winterboro thirty four to Barry twenty. Last but not least, uh, to round it out, Meek beat Summit and Christian twenty two to twenty. Uh, sounds like a good game. That was very interesting. Meek and Summit and Christian. Very, very interesting. Which, you know, Meek's been a force this year. And, yeah. Uh, Summit and, you know, Valley Head beat, Cedar Bluff beat Summit. Valley Head beat Summit. And I thought Gilfield played Summit and good for three mm-hmm. quarters. And, and, and Meek's got uh, to go to R.A. Hubbard for that first round. So you're saying that R.A. Hubbard's probably going to be the favorite. Let's, uh, Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Here. I would think a small favorite at least. I don't know what our Nino R.A. Hubbard is, Cortland, Hazelwood, that area up there. Well, I guess it's those two schools combined. Let's take a look at this. Oh, crap. 1A. <laughs> okay. Let's move this around a little bit. Maplesville, 1A, Linden, Sweetwater. It's right here. Here's this little box. I'm going to fix and flip it over there for everybody to see it. Say Bluff, Woodland, uh, R.A. Hubbard, and Meek. 
winners play that bracket. The other bracket, Wadley Gelsel and Hubbard will in Hackleburg playing that other bracket. And uh, on this other the bottom bracket here, we're going to switch over. Everybody see the winner of Decatur Heritage in Marion County will host Valley Head or Raglan. In the bottom box there, Pickens County will battle Phillips, and the winner of that game will host Wintersboro or Summington. Um, Wintersboro and Summington. Hmm, that could be a good game. Yeah. And I like the Valley Head Raglan matchup. I do too. I do. I like that. Now, here we're going to flip it over here for the 3A thing for everybody can see. Uh, you can see it right here. I can see it on here. But Fife, see good. Uh, Fife and Welburn going to battle it out. They're going to host the the winner between Philip Campbell and J.B. Pennington. Uh -huh. Sachs and Plainview will play it out. They will host the winner of Oakman and Colburn Heights. And well, whoever gets that, I would say. Who does Sachs play? Geraldine. That'll be a good Sachs game. plays Plainview. Sachs plays Plainview. Sachs has already played Geraldine. Why is it doing that? That was one of their losses. I can't get it to move. Geraldine's got two or three losses. Now, who ended up? Five did end up winning that region. Mm -hmm, right? That's correct. Because Geraldine had lost more games, right? Yeah. Sylvania beat Geraldine. It's just not going to cooperate. I hate when it does that. Let's see what Geraldine's schedule looks like. Oh, there it is. Oh my of gosh. Geraldine first year what coach too. Geraldine. Guys, I'm sorry I can't get it to move. I'm fixing to just move on because it's just not gonna There it goes. Right, here we uh, here's the other bracket right here. Let's flip it over. Y'all see this one? Lauderdale County plays Venomant. They will host the winner of Sylvania and Piedmont. So, um, uh, Piedmont will have to win two. They'll have to beat Sylvania and the winner of Lauderdale County and Venement to mm -hmm. to be at home. Which will probably be Lauderdale to to be it back at home because they're going to be bottom here. Uh, they're going to have to go to Sylvania, and then Winfield will be uh, at Clements. They'll host the the winner of Ohatchee and Geraldine, and that game will be out on on the bank over there. I'm really interested in Ohachi and Jordan. I, I think that's. Uh, I think that may be the best game to go to. Let's look back up this here. Weekend, at the, I would think. Y'all want to look at the top part? I Some people may not care about the top part. He's had 1,500 yards rushing this year. Oh Lord, I know. At least here's Maybe the top more. part. If anybody's interested, Montgomery Academy plays Flomington, Trinity, and Whitesburg. Uh, and the winner of those two will play the winner between T. R. Miller and Hale County and Op. In real town, we just mentioned some oh, of those teams. You know what they there. have in off, don't you? Yeah, I've been through Battle there. Snake Roundup. I've Houston. been through there when we go to Florida. There's a medley bracket that Catholic Montgomery will play uh, yeah, Houston Houston State Academy, right. and they'll host the winner of Southside Salmon and Bayside Academy. Bayside's won at Battle Piedmont. I remember a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, Great Piedmont foot game. For, yeah, and then a state championship game. Mm -hmm. That was a good game. That was like that was years ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Salcombe and Dadeville will battle to host Hillcrest, Evergreen, or Thomasville. And Thomasville, every few years they put something they've together. Won a, they've won a couple. One, 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 I know of for a fact. They one do. bad. Scored about 70 down there in that game. I mean, in the state championship. Uh, game. Let's see. And we'll flip over here to the other one. Uh, Tanner, uh, we've talked about this. Sand Rock will be traveling to Mars Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, the winner of that game will host if Sam Rock can beat Mars Hill they can come home and play the winner of Tanner and Lamar County Spring Garden Hatton Spring Garden beats Hatton they'll be at home again to play the winner of Aliceville and Eider okay. that's interesting yeah that is Aliceville's pretty good this year aren't they yeah did Eider finish third or fourth in there Tyler I know you're watching y'all finished third or fourth Three, I think y'all might finish third I want to move this around a little bit. There it is. That's not I'm, good. Why does it do that? Piedmont, man? Sylvania. I, I've heard good things about Sylvania. And Piedmont's got to travel during that game. But uh, right, let's go back I up. I think they would still be favored by a few. Somebody wants to uh, look up here at these other ones. Uh, the top of that two. Isabella plays St. Luke's. The winner of that game will host B.B. Comer or G.W. Long. Yeah, and they have Clark County and Thornsby will match up, and the winner of that game will host Arton and Lafayette. 
And then on down here in the middle, uh, the next little part here is, okay, there it is. Well, Fayette, they match up with, they'll get to host the winner of Laverne and Orange Beach. And Elba plays Ramburn. The winner of that game will host Leroy and Highland Home. And Lynette, I expect, I would think Lynette would not win the state. Pisgah and Seligent. Those two are usually good teams there. Yes, they are. Uh, Lexington and Southeastern. I, I don't know much about that one at all. Uh, midfield play North Sand Mountain. I think that'll be a good one. Man, look at here. The winner of that game uh, be between Cleveland and Colbert County. So, say mid, midfield wins. They beat North Sand Mountain. They go on. We think Cleveland's. Oh, they'll play Cleveland. We think Cleveland is going to make a long run at Cleveland's it. Cleveland's so, third, fourth round. I see. Third, so, at least. Let's take a look at this here, Dan. So if Cleveland, I'd like to see a rematch between <coughs> Spring Garden. Yeah. That won't happen till third, fourth. <coughs> yeah, let's see where's that at? It'll be uh, one round, one round, two round, three. Maybe oh, four. Lord, four. It'll be uh, yeah. Look right here. Let me put that over there for everybody. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I think I can say this. Let me put that everybody can see. be pretty confident, but this may be the best team Cleveland's ever had. They're going to go here, then they're yeah. going to have to beat midfield or North Sand, then they're going to have to go here, win this game to get out of that. Uh, Spring Garden's going to have to come here and win and go up, and then go up here. It's going to be a semi game. Well, wouldn't you say that in our lifetime since we've been watching it? I don't ever remember Cleveland being this good. Uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, somebody, one of the coaches or something, I guess, we were just talking, mm-hmm. chewing the fat. Um, we were talking about that, that how they, you know, lost some players and just kind of just come back up and yeah. just yeah. been great. Well, they did beat Fife during this Fife run. Yeah. When they had that big, tall quarterback that run and threw. No, they might have been good that year. They might have done real well that year, but I don't think they were – Nine and one. No, I don't think. I don't. Let me mention this. One of the better teams they've had. We're talking ever. about these. Um, we know Spring Garden hosts Hatton. Um, Hatton's five and five. Their losses are to Central, forty nine twenty two, and Mars Hill sixty to twelve. Carver County twenty five twenty four. We lost to Lexington forty two to eight. That is Hatton, who will be facing Spring Garden. Sand Rock at Mars Hill. Marcio was seven and three. Who did their losses to? We lost to Jasper thirty five to six. Uh-huh. Coleman forty nine seven. And American Christian Academy fifty five thirty six. So the only difference No region there, games. See so. they though they played those teams close last year though. And not obviously not this year. But uh, I don't think they're as good, but I still think they're pretty dang good. I don't think they're gonna win it. I, I think Lynette is the favorite in my book and I think Spring Garden's got a good shot. Yep. Yeah. Very uh, balanced. Spring Garden um, very tough defense. Mm-hmm. Very balanced on offense. And I, I think that'd be hard to beat twice on the field. So if they do rematch with Cleveland. In the semis late November yeah. after Thanksgiving week or so. I just uh, and I just can't get out of my head that Hanley beat Lynette by one point. <laughs> so if they can play with a 4A team that won it last year and is pretty good this year, which they did lose the other night. But they lost to Clay County, Central Clay County. But I just I don't I don't I don't know. That's just hard for me to see anybody getting past them. Yeah, it was like Wadley. Wadley's lost one game. Right. Spring Garden. Spring Garden. Yeah. City Bluff hosts Woodland, they're three and seven. They lost to Fayetteville twenty one twelve, Randolph County forty thirty four, Ramburn forty nine to six, Wadley twenty nine to nothing. They lost to Winterboro 38-13. They lost to Horseshoe Bend 14-6. to I don't, Horseshoe Bend's not traditionally very good here lately. Mars Hill was like a small college last year. That's true. Uh, CCHS will be at Strawn, 7-3 and three Strawn. Uh-huh. I had to dig around some Montgomery newspapers to find anything. Find anything on them. They lost to St. James 43-6. to six. They lost to 3A, 3A Op. Uh-huh. 42 to nothing. Now, how do you lose to 3A Op and you're a big 4A school? Uh, that's odd. 42 to nothing. I don't know. How good is Op? 
Well, that other thing we just mentioned, fix to find out. Just what can that other three ace? That other they going um, Geneva. I lost to Geneva thirty four twenty one. Well, that's the three losses that Strawn. Um, Who they beat? Who is Strawn? Um, See, Senate's got some quality wins. Sure. They beat Anniston. Uh, they beat. Uh, find out. Cleveland County. Cleveland County didn't have a bad team this year, and especially you know you beat the region champs, which Anniston did not end up winning the region championship. They had to forfeit, but Center beat them by one. Andalusia, Alabama. They beat uh, Pleasant Home. 42 to 6, they beat Red Level. Non Region 38 to 2. They beat Bullock County 47 to 20. They beat Ashford 42 to 20. And they lost three back to back St. James, Op, and Geneva. And they went on to bounce back to beat uh, Team out of Tuskegee down there, one of their region teams 28 22. American Christian Academy, Montgomery, they won 1917. And they beat uh, Dale County at a Midland City over there, region game. 21 to 18 and they'll battle uh, they'll host the Turkey County Warriors I think they have a shot. I do too and I think they got a fighting chance mm-hmm. they're going to take care of the ball and definitely good shot absolutely what else Dane well, that's pretty much it on the high school isn't it that's all the high school we got alright thank you guys we'll see y'all It'll next get... week <laughs> over and out <laughs> uh yeah, first weekend's pretty exciting, and you get narrowed down. This won't take as long next week. No, nope. so I mean, it didn't take long tonight, but it'll just be even be less. Cause yeah, you know, thirty-two teams left. We'll start getting more college football and and college basketball. A little, mm-hmm. he's going to talk about that in a little bit. Just some of the ACC basketball, right? But uh, again, congratulations to Owen Pruitt. Yes, sir. OP. Good job. Player of the week and uh, hundred yards receiving, two picks. Let's go. Uh, Let's switch over, switch gears, and change it up, and uh, okay. change podcast. If uh, we appreciate you guys hanging around, and uh, again, good luck to everybody in the county on your travels and who's hosting. Yeah, uh, good luck. Yeah, we hope we hope everybody wins. Makes Got it on two the next on round. three on the road, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, we'll be right back. Hang on, let me switch.